Vanderbilt is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He's on the run. For the 20, the 10. Brought down at the four-yard line. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. And he's tackled at the two. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. That's a great tackle at the one. Touchdown, Tennessee! The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Well, Brad, right now, this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. The score now, 7-0. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Commodores have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. And now he's got room to run. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Gets the ball here and brought down in the back for you. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. Second down and 11. Ball on their own 48. Here they come. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Number nine brings him down at the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 36-yard line, first down. Caught and he's hit immediately. Number 45 on the tackle at the 34 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Three down, three down. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. <laughs> Throws it in a hurry. It's a great job here by the quarterback of recognizing the outside linebacker blitz and delivering the football for a first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. 
from the 22 yard line. It's second down. He gets out to about the 22 yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Setting up blockers, the running back's got it on the screen, and he shoved out of bounds at about the 13. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And this is what power football is all about, folks. And he has it on the corner. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Brad, you just don't see this very often That's anymore in college football. Way. That is their fifth first, first down, down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinators for some help. They need to change things up. And he's taken down at the three. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Take down, take down, and one, and one. You know what I mean? you know Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tackle made at the three-yard line. And this is the 15th play of the current drive. room there as they try to work the left side. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away. And it's good. Vanderbilt is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Catches it, and that's all. Tennessee holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 39. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. And they hit him in the backfield. Takes him down for a loss behind the line. Loss of three yards on the play. That, that brings, brings up, up second, second and 13. 13. From their own 36-yard line, down. second down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. 10, 2, X, 7. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Tennessee's up by four. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires out to his wideout. Knocked out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws and it's incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Zips it to the back. Tackle at the 31. Got a man, 
tackled for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Four down, four down. Watch 36. Tennessee is up by four. Black five. And they make the stop around the 26-yard line. Touchdown and he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Setting up play action. And he's hit immediately. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. Let's go, let's go, let's go. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. He's taken down at around the 48 yard line. Makes it to the 44. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Five wide. Check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Fires out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 31 yard line. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 31 yard line. First down. Three yard gain by the running back. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. He 
launches one for the end zone. Incomplete. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. The kick is up. And he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-6, Tennessee. Vanderbilt, kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tennessee is up by eight. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and down he goes, right around the 30. Second and five, ball on the 30-yard line. That last pass was good for maybe five yards. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Brought down at the 32. Tackled at the 36. Scrambling around, and they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's second and 15. Ball on the 32. Four down, four down. Mike, 37. No, four. Mike, three and eight. Three and eight. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hit. Tennessee up by eight. He's going to air it long. The defender had it and then dropped it. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Hey, look, they got Black <laughs> Just throws this one away. So we're looking at another third down here. Going for it all to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. That gives him 100 yards in the game. Now, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. converts the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. Steps out of bounds around the 30-yard line. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. Ready! Black and he's going. 
Kirby sack. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Vanderbilt's going to use their first time out of the half here. First and 10, ball on the 40. Ready! Green, 19! Green, 19! Quick throw. That close to being intercepted. Number 24 on the coverage. That makes it second and ten. Hey, He goes out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's level at the 47. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And this one is a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. The Volunteers are sitting pretty now after getting out to that slow start at the beginning. Yeah, things were a little sluggish early, but my gosh, these last few series, they just seem to be, at this point, just kind of setting a tone and kind of having their way against this defense. Tackle made at the 29. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Certainly not what we expected as we head to halftime. The Volunteers in front by 15. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here's Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes, because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it at harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He gets sacked on the play. looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it 39. complete and taken down immediately. It's
gets away, and it's a booming punt. Gets out to about the 31. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick out to his receiver, and he's taken down at about the 35. That brings him second and five. Great concentration to haul it in. He's tackled at about the 45. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a strike complete. He's out of bounds at the 49. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 42. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's hit and taken down. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Now, Kirk, that was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. That's a great tackle at the 31. That well, wasn't the flashiest pass, but I guarantee you everybody in the offensive sideline is happy with the result. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Out of bounds around the 29 yard line. Push him out at the 29-yard line. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Tennessee's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 20. Makes the grab. Number nine on the tackle at the 20 yard line. That makes it 30 and 15. All right, follow out there. Check the outs out there. Four down, four down. 45 to Mike. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, great catch. Fourth 
down, I'm coming, as they go three and out. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Oh, excellent punt. Fielded at the 19. Brought down at the 34-yard line. Well, Vanderbilt's done everything right in this football game, at least to this point. Yeah, at this point is a key. We still have an entire quarter to go, but they have executed perfectly on both sides of the ball. They've got a nice lead here. They're thinking about upset. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Fires out to his wide out, and they make the stop at the 41. Gets to about the 41 yard line. Picks up the loose ball. Gains his way to midfield. From the 50. First down. Throws out and a leaping interception by the corner. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. They get four yards on that pass play. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. With a quick throw. And it's incomplete. Brad, this corner just made a great play on the football. You wonder if he's starting to maybe get into the mindset of this quarterback, and maybe the quarterback's going to look in the other direction to try to come up with a completion. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. So at the end of the third quarter, Tennessee leads it 24-6. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He's taken down at the 39. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires out to his receiver. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Decides to slide. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. job by the defense of getting after that quarterback and right now I think they've got him with some happy feet he appears to be a bit rattled second down Five, 10 to go six. ball on the 44 yard line yeah. quick strike and he drops it the pass ball is incomplete number seven was the intended receiver on the play that brings, that brings up, up third and ten three down, three down. watch 36 36 the mic here comes the screen and the kick connect. 
He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time. Just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's immediately tackled. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Five wide. Brought down at the 43. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Ready. Hot. Green 45. Green. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. Now he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 38 yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to know. They don't want to know. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And down he goes at the 23. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. Ready! 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 Got a man in and out of his hands. Number seven was the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Gaining four yards. Third down. This is the eighth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Just under three to go in regulation. Going to the end zone. Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. He's got the two. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Finds his man, first down, and he's got the junior. The Commodores are going to call their second timeout from the 28-yard line. First down. Tackle after a decent.
decent run up the gut. Vanderbilt's called their final timeout. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're Still in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Brad, looking at this play selection and the result of the play, I think the offensive coordinator is trying to just pick up as many yards as they can to set up possibly a punt to see if they can change field position with a big-time punt by the special teams. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Tennessee is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Well, now you've got to be thinking end zone on every play. You just don't have the time to do anything else. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. We have less than a minute to go. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel, almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He wants it all going long. Almost picked off. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 38. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. In the shotgun and five wide outs. He airs it out. From the 49-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, second down. And they'll try one last pass here to pad the stats, but that's about all they're going to get right here. Deep ball, laying it out there. Incomplete, almost picked off. We're at play number nine of this current drive. the senior corner. Yeah. 
And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 27-14, Volunteers. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Tennessee came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.